What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Yes, I am back. And today's unboxing is going to be on the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital Code combo pack of the Suicide Squad here. Not to be confused with the 2016 movie of the same name, or I guess of a similar name, which was just called Suicide Squad. This one is called The Suicide Squad, which is um, pretty confusing. So <laughs> anyway though guys... Uh, let's get going. Let's take a look at our slipcover first as we usually do. This is actually a really nice looking slipcover. Um, 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray Digital Code, whatever what we have in the package here. Uh, DC, The Suicide Squad, James Gunn film. Uh, this one is also certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. <clears throat> and uh, we just have some, I guess, kind of plain-ish looking artwork here. This is one of the trailer, or not trailer, uh, this is one of the poster designs here uh, with everybody running in the rain there. And yes, it is a really nice looking slipcover. You can kind of see it's like really shiny. Warner Brothers has always done a really good job with their 4K slipcovers. I really like how like shiny they are and, um, you know, no embossing or anything like that on here. You just get like the shininess. Um, it's a little bit more apparent in person, but it's a really actually nice looking slipcover. The video doesn't really do it justice, but um, there's the front of it. And now if we take a look at the side here, 4K Ultra HD, The Suicide Squad, DC, Warner Brothers, and pretty much the exact same thing on the other side. And now let's take a look at the back here. We have a quote up there from Naz Perez of Rotten Tomatoes saying, The Suicide Squad is a wild ride you never want to get off. We got some screenshots from the movie there, of course. And if you guys, and there is the uh, description right there. If you guys want to go ahead and pause and read that, there you go. I'll just keep on it for a couple seconds. So once again, pause and read that if you want to. I uh, got some promotional artwork of some of the characters right there. All right. So now let's take a look at our special features. Special features to die for on Blu-ray. So it doesn't look like we get anything on the 4K. Or Sorry, actually we do. Um, <clears throat> but we'll get to those in a second. So we have uh, gag reel, deleted and extended scenes. The making of four of the most epic scenes, The Beach, Gorilla Camp, Harley's Escape, which is also on the 4K, and The Fall of uh, Jotunheim, I think that's how you say it. The comic book origins of The Suicide Squad, Bringing King Shark to Life, How James Gunn Made the Suicide Squad, Starro, It's a Freaking Kaiju, three retro-style trailers, and a director commentary. That's also on the 4K as well. And um, for the complete 4K Ultra HD experience with HDR, you need... All of that stuff right there. So you need a 4K TV, of course, Ultra HD Blu-ray player, and a high-speed HDMI cable. Um, of course, this does come with a digital movie code, so you can watch it anywhere. And now let's take a look at our specifications down here. So for the 4K Ultra HD main feature, <clears throat> excuse me, we have 2160p ultra high definition, and this of course is in widescreen, with an aspect ratio of I think IMDb says it's 190 to 1. Um, I'm not too sure of that. I'm pretty sure a lot of like the the websites and that say it's 190 to one. Um, why they didn't decide to go with just 185 to one, I don't know. But I think that's the IMAX aspect aspect ratio actually. But that's the aspect ratio that the movie is in. And for audio, we have the usual English Dolby Atmos True HD track, as well as a. Uh, I think we also get oh an English descriptive audio Dolby Digital track. And also French and Spanish still be digital. And for subtitles, we have English, French, and Spanish as we usually do. Uh, the Blu-ray is pretty much the exact same thing, except it's just in 1080p high definition. Same aspect ratio, I'm sure. And, um, you know, same thing. It's in widescreen and that. Um, on the 4K here, it looks like we do get both HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision on here. Um, I don't have Dolby Vision, but if one of you guys watching has Dolby Vision... Um, just let it be known that it is on here and your setup will probably um, take advantage of it. So the movie is rated R for strong violence and gore, language throughout, some sexual references, drug use, and brief graphic nudity. And the runtime is 132 minutes. We usually don't get those MPAA um, ratings on like the Canadian releases. Uh, but yeah, it's 132 minutes and of course it's in color and everything like that and uh, yeah so this one is just over uh, two hours in length two hours and 12 minutes to be exact so let's go ahead and take off the slipcover first 
so we can actually take a look at the case underneath. So here it is, what it looks like without the slip cover. Whoa. And um, pretty much the exact same thing, except we just have the billing block right there. So now I'm going to take my trusty knife here and just slice this along the side. So, have you guys watched The Suicide Squad yet? If so, what did you think about it? Did you think it was better than the uh, 2016 Suicide Squad? I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably agree. Uh, but let me know down below, regardless, in the comments, what you guys thought of this one. If you watched it. Did you watch it on HBO Max? Uh, digital? Did you go see it in the theater? Let me know down below. So, here it is, all unwrapped and everything. So, I'll just bring this off camera like I usually do just so I can uh, take out the code here because with these Warner Brothers ones I usually use the code so first thing we got here we actually got a couple pamphlets so this of course is the digital movie code pamphlet we have the code right here that's being blocked by my fingers reaching my digital movie code the Suicide Squad and there is the back of it build your digital collection with this limited time sale four films for 1999 so the ones that they're showing here, um, you could potentially get Joker, The Matrix, 300, and V for Vendetta. Um, all really good movies there. And um, I do also have a unboxing of Joker on my channel. If you guys have not checked that out, go check it out if you want. And um, yeah, so I guess that's a pretty good offer, like 5 bucks a movie. So there's that. And we also have another pamphlet in here as well. Uh, this code I don't really care about, but this is Suicide Squad DC Universe Infinite. So instructions to redeem your code, and we have some nice looking artwork there. Uh, nothing on the back of that, but that's pretty much what this pamphlet looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this back into view here. So we have both of our discs. Probably can't see them very well, so that's why I will go ahead and pop them out. So here's what the 4K disc looks like. We have like a big star looking thing on here. Probably one of the Starro things. And uh, yeah, 4K Ultra HD, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, Ultra HD, DC, Warner Brothers. So we have all our logos on there. So I don't know. It's a pretty hard to see looking disc, but it's okay, I guess. I appreciate the artwork at least. And we take a look at this here. This is the Blu-ray disc. So it's a little bit simpler looking. Just Blu-ray disc, logo, DC, Warner Brothers, the Suicide Squad. And what looks like a bullet hole maybe? I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure that's a bullet hole that has to be, but that is what the Blu-ray disc artwork looks like. And uh, yeah, that'll be about it for the unboxing portion of this video. I'm just going to get on to a really, really quick um, review portion here, because um, I do have school today, so I just have to get this video done and uploaded really quick here. So what did I think of The Suicide Squad? I watched it when it first came out back in August. And I really, really enjoyed this one. It's probably my favorite movie of the year so far. Uh, this was just such a delight after, um, and actually a treat too, after watching Birds of Prey last year, which was uh, pretty disappointing, I'd say. It wasn't very good at all. But um, I appreciate how DC kind of gave Suicide Squad a second chance. I know the first one made a lot of money, but it... I mean, I shouldn't say it because I kind of liked it, but... Maybe I should rewatch it sometime, but I do appreciate DC giving this property another chance. Um, but nobody really liked the first one. But this one, unfortunately, was the exact opposite. The critics loved this movie, but it didn't do that great at the box office. It only made like $55 million domestically, which is um, kind of yikes. But the, I don't know why. Like I think just the interest wasn't there. This was just a really good movie. I think a lot of people were just kind of, you know, done with Suicide Squad after the first one. But nobody really gave this one a fair chance. It was funny. It had a lot of good action. It was R-rated like the first one should have been. So, you know, it was super violent. It was, you know, crude in some spots. And overall, it was just a real delight. I really liked it. And um, that's speaking from, you know, someone that hasn't really enjoyed a lot of Warner Brothers' movies this year. Um, this was the only one that I actually really, really liked, maybe besides Judas and the Black Messiah, but everything else was kind of disappointing to say the least, especially Conjuring, um, and Many Saints of Newark as well. I didn't really care for those at all, but Suicide Squad here, I really, really enjoyed it. You have, you know, all the dynamics between all the characters, and like I said, it was funny, it was violent, it was crude, everything that the original Suicide Squad should have been. 
So for this movie, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. And um, I hope you guys can uh, take a look at this one here soon if you guys have not seen it yet. But uh, yeah, it was, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And I hope um, the next DC movie that comes out, which is The Batman, I hope that one looks, or I hope that one is going to be good. It looks awesome from the trailer. So I've got high hopes for that one. Hopefully DC doesn't let us down with that. So anyway though guys, that is about it for the unboxing of the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Digital Coat combo pack of the Suicide Squad here. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well to check out what I've been watching recently. Again, I haven't really been watching a whole lot, but the link is there if you guys want to check it out anyways. And um, also be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified of more videos. And um, yeah, anyway though, that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.